Good morning, mighty man. In September of 1857, Jeremiah Lamphere started a prayer meeting in a Dutch Reformed church in Manhattan in New York City. He advertised it, but only six people came out of a population of about a million. But the following week, 14 people showed up, then 23 the week after, so they decided to meet every day. By late winter, they were filling up the church, and soon after, other churches started to fill up. So by February of the next year of 1858, every church and public facility in downtown New York was filled with prayer. By this time, there were thousands meeting. According to Dr. J. Edwin Orr, then a landslide of prayer began, which overflowed to the churches in the evenings. People began to be converted, 10,000 a week in New York City alone. The movement spread throughout New England, the church bells bringing people to prayer at 8 in the morning, 12 noon, 6 in the evening. The revival raced up the Hudson and down the Mohawk, where the Baptists, for example, had so many to baptize that they went down to the river, cut a big hole in the ice, and baptized them in the cold water. That's what prayer and revival can do. Our daily Bible reading today is Deuteronomy chapters 27 through 30. I'm going to read out of chapter 28, starting in verse 28. And if you faithfully obey the voice of the Lord your God, being careful to do all his commandments that I command you today, the Lord your God will set you high above all the nations of the earth, and all these blessings shall come upon you and overtake you if you obey the voice of the Lord your God. Blessed shall you be in the city. Blessed shall you be in the field. Blessed shall be the fruit of your womb and the fruit of your ground and the fruit of your cattle, the increase of your herds and the young of your flock. Blessed shall be your basket and your kneading bowl. Blessed shall you be when you come in. Blessed shall you be when you go out. Let's pray. O oh God of mercy and grace, Bless this nation once again. When our political leaders say, God bless America, let it be a prophetic declaration that America will return in faithful obedience and receive your blessings, so much so that they would overtake us. Father, we're asking for a landslide of prayer again, even in New York City and places that we would consider the least likely to see revival. You do it again. We know that every revival movement first began with prayer. And we thank you, God, that you have raised up faithful women intercessors. But now we're saying, Lord, get the men out of bed. Get the men in prayer. Get the men walking in dominion over their communities. Lord, we're asking that you would raise up an army of a million men praying. Fulfill the vision Dick Simmons had of a men's pre-dawn national prayer offensive. We pray it in Jesus' name. Amen. Thank you for joining me in prayer. Men, rise up.